So now, with three quarters of a million sold over 16 years, we've got a new one. The third generation, the Mazda MX-5. The first thing you notice is the subtly more aggressive design. It's got chunkier wheel arches, more toned lines, a shark-like front. There's a hint of Honda S2000 about it, which is no bad thing. It still isn't macho, but it's certainly toughened up a bit. And Mazda have been truly fanatical about saving weight. They call it Gram Strategy, and they've examined every inch of the car to try and shave off the excess fat. And the result of this obsessive dieting, compared to the old one, this car is 10 kilograms heavier. Oh! That's largely because the car is now a bit bigger and a bit more solid should you ever come to crash it. But because they've very precisely realigned the engine by about 10 degrees, the weight distribution is still supposed to be 50-50, so it should be as well balanced as ever. The kart track Mazda rented for the launch wasn't exactly the place to push this roadster to its limits, but I suppose carts like handling is what this car is supposed to be all about. With the traction control on, you'd be hard pushed to get into any sort of trouble, but turn it off, give it some welly, and the rear end steps out of line, predictably and without fuss. There's not a blanket of electronic aids that dull the driving experience as there are in so many other cars, but this MX-5 has definitely grown up as it has grown bigger. But fortunately, into nothing more than an adolescent. So wholesome entertainment is still fully available. Inside, there's a very welcome feeling of quality. The hip-hugging seats are particularly comfortable, and there are lots of racy finishing touches that make this feel a lot more special than the old car's pretty basic cabin. There are two engines on offer. The smaller 1.8 starts at 15 and a half grand, does 122 miles an hour, and gets to 62 in 9.4 seconds, which is slow. Which is why I'd recommend the two litre. It may be more expensive at 19,000 pounds, but naught to 62 in 7.9 seconds is more like it. The six gears are on the long side and it could do with shorter ratios to make it feel more sprightly. The change though is good and solid. For all the developments, the MX-5's best feature has been preserved in that you don't need to drive fast to have fun. All the sweet handling sensations can be had at lower speeds. It may still be a bit of a girly sports car, but it's one your fella definitely won't mind borrowing.